in a world where one man's voice runs four times more than any other. And you are? I'm Johnny Carson. And on tonight's show, we have Bobby De Niro, David Spade, and performing all week at 1776 Laughs, John Adams. hi -o! <laughs> What you doing, you little mama Luke? No, no, boy. I'm a rooster, son. You gotta keep your eye on the ball, boy. Ah, ball. That's a joke. I say it's a joke, son. Yo. My agent told me this was an on-camera audition about the Declaration of Independence or the Constitution or something. Yeah, but deba do the joke's on you. Do you ever <laughs> shut up? No, you know I tried it once. It didn't take all this quiet and crickets. It drove me crazy. Get out of here. They're running late. Hey, Marty, the space-time continuum. Whoa, wait a second, Doc. You mean to tell me you built a time machine out of a goomba? Study without me. I'll meet you at Gabon. Leave the gun. Take the cannoli. I don't... I don't like Chinese. They put cat in their food. Suffering. Suck a tash. Johnny Botts told me I'll... All right. I'll meet you at Gabon. Ooh, I thought I told I put that in my egg wall. Zoinks like we're doomed. Scoop, we'll never get out of this room. Right, the elevator. Yeah. Fourth floor, clock, socks, bagels, and locks while you step into another dimension. A dimension not only of sight and sound, but of mind. The audition zone. And I was totally zoning, dude. Ha <laughs> ha I'm hunting wabbits. Ooh, ha <laughs> No, I'm not a wabbit duck. I'm a duck. Oh, that's preposterous, sir. It is wabbit season, and you are a wabbit. Duck season, wabbit season, duck season, fire. Boom. <laughs> you know, it's kind of fun to do, Jay Leno. You ever notice what Jay Leno does? <laughs> I am playing dog. I will cut you. Cut you like a knife. Come on, come on. Put up the dukes. Let's get ready to rumble. You know, this watch was your grandfather's watch. Gave it to your father. He gave it to me. I don't wear this uncomfortable. Why is this taking so long? I'm perplexed. And I'm Popeye the Sailor. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. I know why you're doing this. You're trying to throw us off so you can book this job. Moi? Yeah, that's a ticket, and I'll be a millionaire. You know what? I don't need this job. It's all yours. Break a leg, really. I want you to go to the window. I want you to open it up and yell, I'm mad as hell and I'm not gonna take it anymore! You're a psycho. But I wouldn't hurt a fly, Norman. Blood mother, no! You know, I'm gonna tell you something. I have lost more jobs than you'll ever get. Wait, Donald! And I'm not wearing any pants, film and eleven. Jimmy, stop! <laughs> no! Don't make me put you through a wall. Oh, a door would be nice, maybe a window, but not a wall, no. <laughs> Don't hurt him. <laughs> You're lucky he's here. Hmm. Well, I guess it's just you and me now. No, actually, it's just you. You're not going to audition after all of that? Jerry, I'm Dwayne Swift. I'm the guy who used to do 60 voices in 60 seconds. Yeah, well, I'm on the other side of the mic now, and you're exactly what I'm looking for. But you haven't heard me read. No, no, okay. You don't get it. Look, I was looking for a quality. This, this was the audition. You're that quality I'm looking for. You're patient and kind, but straightforward. Got that something extra without doing something extra? Come on. You even tried to get other people to stay and, and possibly lose a job yourself. What's that about? Like, here's a real script. Is this right? It's just one word. Yeah. And I have a friend that made a whole career off of one word. Butter. <laughs> Look, this is going to run forever. You're going to be set. You. Sure. <laughs> Thank you so much. Sure. Jerry Meyer, this looks like the beginning of a beautiful friendship. 